the Director General of Police in Uttar Pradesh has sent out a list of do's and don'ts for the police force to follow for their anti-Romeo squads right now. This information uh, just coming in after various cases of moral policing have been reported. Uh, these in they include no discrimination on the basis of caste, creed or faith. Also one of the rules, no hair shaving, blackening faces or uh, things like that. For more now, my colleague Sunetra Chaudhary joins us. Uh, Sunetra, you know, on the one hand, this is seen as something which is out there for the safety of women, for the protection of women. On the other hand, it's leading to uh, the moral policing we've been reporting. Will these lists of do's and don'ts actually uh, work on the ground? Well, no one's making guarantees about whether this will work or not. But what it is doing is that they are sending out a look, and this is a reiteration, two letters have been sent out uh, uh, by the DGP's office. And in fact, the second letter says, very clearly that I have to reiterate the do's and don'ts and add to it because many people are not listening. What is of course happening and what the police acknowledges is that a lot of it is also a, a self-appointed over enthusiastic officials. They feel that many police officials, two things are happening. They might want to curry favors. They look at the new government coming in. They think that this is what the new government wants. And that's why they are being over enthusiastic. So this letter goes out as a clear message to them that, look, you cannot harass them. Second thing that is happening is that it's just another tool that some lower police officials or other police officials are using it to harass people, get small bribes, which has been something which has always been there, but has got has become this new anti-Romeo squad has given another tool for people to harass young people, young couples, and many feared that, you know, people from Muslim community, minority community, they would be harassed using this, which is why a clear reiteration in the rules that, look, you can't harass people on the basis of gender, on the basis of their background, on the basis of their identity. What's also important is, like you said, that we've seen instances of people, self-appointed people, of vigilantes doing this, a clear, clear indication that only police personnel in civic clothes and civvies or some of them in uniform, only they are authorized to doing this. This anti romeo squad is not another extra uh, body. It's a body which is made of the police force. So that is a clear indication, a clarification which is going out that no one can appoint themselves part of this Romeo squad. It is only, and a lot, they want a lot more women police officials doing it. This is after all those reports that we've been showing. And that's why also perhaps a clarification on what kind of punishment. They are saying that, look, first of all, we have to be clear that this is only about, this action is only meant to be to tackle sexual harassment and not harassment of anybody uh, interacting with the opposite sex, anybody in general. So they are saying that you can't even humiliate them if you have to have proceedings and it has to be legal proceedings by taking them to uh, the police station and registering a case. What you cannot do is to humiliate them publicly by blackening their face or make publicly making someone sit up and sit down. The Uttak Baitha says they are known in Uttar Pradesh and things like that. So uh, if we don't know whether it's going to totally work, what we do know is that it is an attempt to do some damage control to some of the disturbing reports that are emerging from the state.